Hey everyone, Dan here with a video. Uh, it's been a little while, I do apologize. We've been busy with farm work and Nate moving out to Colorado and he's been busy, but he's got some videos coming as well. Today I just wanted to make a short one on some air crew items. If you've watched our videos, you may have seen the food packet in flight and the Seek 2 kit before. So I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on that. The main thing we're going to check out is this pilot survival kit. Uh, I think this is just half of what is a two-part kit. But this has never been opened, so we're going to check it out. Um, some other pilot items we you know, have here uh, is an air, air crew survival knife. These were carried by uh, pilots. Would have, would have had a leather sheath. This one doesn't have the sheath with a sharpening uh, block and everything on it. And that would have been carried on their survival vest. Um, also in the survival vest, they would have had... Uh, flask. This is a more modern one, 1993, but these go back quite a while. Um, flashlight. Now, standard issue, nothing special here. These were, but these were issued to just about everybody in the military, but they did carry these on their survival vests. And um, a compass. They would have had one of those. And then this is a just a book that my buddy Ray had given to me. Um, Fortunately, Ray is no longer with us. Uh, he's one of those falling into that statistic of 22 a day of veterans who commit suicide. So this video is kind of dedicated to him. He was uh, in the Air Force for over 20 years. And this is a book he had had when he took the uh, survival training that Air Force uh, air crews take. So it's kind of a neat book. You can find these out there. Uh, if you find one, pick it up. It's neat. There's a lot of good information in there. So, and then, like I said, I did mention the Seek 2 kit. So this was a later survival kit, two, two parts. There's a whole video I have on that. There's a lot of neat uh, survival items in there. This one's not 100% complete. If you want to see one that's never been opened, check out Steve 1989's video. He uh, has one that's never been touched, but there's still a lot of great stuff. And uh, check out our video on that one. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, check out this uh, survival ration, or survival kit, I should say. So these came in originally a cardboard box, and then were sealed closed with a piece of black duct tape. We're going to see if we can peel that, that tape off. It's actually still quite sticky. What I like to do when I'm done with this is keep this piece of tape and, and reseal it. I'm not sure the exact date on this kit. We'll probably find some dates inside of it when we get inside of it. It's amazing how that adhesive has held up over the years. I'm just going to set this piece of tape aside real quick. So I'd like to try to reuse that and when we're done, put it back in. So we'll open this up and see what we have in here. And see how everything's held up. So this kit would have been pretty neat to have. I mean, you could have probably used this plastic container in addition to storing your items to hold water or other, you know, just a lot of different uses. It's a pretty thick, heavy-duty plastic. So let's see what we got inside here. So we got a tube of so sodium Solamide, solamide, sodium solamide. I'm sorry, I'm not. No, I'm probably not saying that right. That is a uh, ophthalmic ointment. So I think that's like an eye cream. Let's see. If there's a date on that. Bear with me. I'm gonna look for a date. It says it expires of six. 80, so I'm guessing June 1980. So this is probably a so this is like a Cold War era kit, 70s maybe. I thought maybe they phased these out prior to the Seek too, but maybe not. Maybe this was a still in use. So we got some different medical items here. Let's see what we have. So this is a uh, water purification tablets. Got some writing on there. Expiration date extended to 12 of seven, 12 of 76. So, so some of the stuff in here was kind of old, but some of it, so this cream must have had quite a shelf life. And if it was good till 1980, those tablets were only good to 76. 
expiration extended to 8 of 76. So this date, this kit must be for probably like Vietnam or early 70s. And this is some betadine solution. So I think maybe of the two halves of the kit, we have all the medical stuff here. But we'll keep looking. We'll see what else might be in here. Oh, look like we got a little instruction sheet. Let's see. This probably tell us our contents. So here's all your components. So we have aspirin, iodine solution, compress bandage, camouflage, adhesive tape, bandage adhesive, water purification, aluminum foil, fish hook line matches, matches safety. Soap, soup and gravy base, instant chicken flavored, tropical chocolate base. So there is a little food and medical in here. So it's kind of similar. Like I said, if you watch the the Seek Two is kind of like a glorif like has a it's very similar uh, to this, but it has more stuff. It has a mixture of medical and some basic food items. Like this has like charms and some things like that, but it also has like a fishing kit, a survival mirror. So. I'm not sure. I have to do some research and put it in the comments about what the issue difference is. Like who would have had these versus these. And they seem to have been made and procured in similar time frames. So we'll do a little research on that maybe and uh, see if we can find out. But we'll keep checking out what's in here. Oop. Let's see. I guess maybe that's like your match striker. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let's see. But just really a neat kit. It's amazing how much little things they could get pushed inside one of these little plastic containers. Oop, looks like some of that adhesive is stuck, kind of melted over the years. Another one of these. So I wonder if this kit was open and repacked because it has these little tags that were added. See, I extended to 12 of 75. So I wonder if these have been sitting, they went through them inventoried them and then sealed them back up once again let's see 12 oh, yeah 25 75 mm -hmm. here's that soap soaped tissue dampen skin rub with tissue rinse and dry so it's like a wet nap almost and i suppose what you know you might need you know if you have a wound or something you came down you know having something like that is going to be important. I'm guessing. Oh, this is your fish hooks. Very neat. Sorry about the focus. This isn't the best camera. Fish hooks in line. So, if you're out there in an area where maybe in your survival raft or uh, something of that nature, if you went down over water, you could use those fish hooks in line to, to you know, hopefully catch some food until the rescue. Here's your matches. Looks like matches, store in plastic bag, but not in use. Kind of like your standard uh, MRE or C ration uh, ra uh, matches, but sealed in a little plastic pouch. Ooh, here's that soup mix. Soup and gravy based chicken flavored. And is that, do they give you two of those? It looks like they gave you. Two, two of the bullion bases. Um, let's see if there's a date. Made by Frass Surge Manufacturing Inc. So a surgical company. That's interesting. Contains salt, monosodium, glutamate, sugar, starch, dextrines, chicken fat, hydrogenated vegetable fat. Let's see, protein, dried chicken meat, solids, onion powder, spices flavorings and other seasonings two seven gram packs i'm not going to eat these i'm sure they're well past their date and in fact let me look here there's looks like they're dated five of 72 so okay so this is all vietnam era uh items here now i suppose if you added this and maybe well i don't two i uh, caught some fish mix this in it might make something uh you know halfway decent to eat Here's that piece of tin foil. Now, I guess you could use this for a while. Like, it reflects pretty well. You could use it maybe like a signal mirror. You could probably cook a little bit with it if you caught some fish. 
Now, there's supposed to be a lot of different uses for this foil pack. And uh, to note, the Seek 2 kit also does come with a fo some foil like that in it, so. Oh, yep, and here's that chocolate. Conserve Sweet Chocolate Ration Bar. So this is probably almost like a World War II deration. Let's see if we can... I'm sorry. That focus is just terrible. Here, I'm going to read, read you what it says on here. Sugar, chocolate, vegetable fat, other cocoa butter, non-fat milk solids. And some other preservatives. Vitamins A, B, and C. So, a protein. So, it was, you know, fortified chocolate. Um, I'm not sure how many calories this would have. It's a one ounce chocolate bar. Style one. Class one. So... So they provide you a little bit of uh, carbohydrates and sugar to kind of keep you going for a short period. And I imagine it would be a little bit of a morale boost having that chocolate bar. Here's your standard compressed gauze kind of trauma bandage. You know, hopefully if you came down you wouldn't have to use this. But definitely good to have if you maybe got, you know, while you know egressing from the aircraft, had some wounds or... You know, if you took some shrapnel or something, and that's why your plane was going down, at least you'd have a way to address your wounds uh, once you landed. And then here's our little box of uh, aspirin tablets. Interesting. I like how everything's just like handwritten on here. It's just a simple little box with handwriting and a little... And a little uh, plastic bag so that's pretty much the contents of um of this kit it's a neat little item i think i think there is supposed to be a second half to this i could be wrong i'll have to do some research you know like the seek two kits two parts um not it's not a lot to it but yet there is you know some decent items you could work with to hopefully sustain yourself for a little bit of time Hopefully you're not going to be out there for too long. So uh, that's pretty much it. That wraps up the video here on this pilot survival ration. Uh, questions, comments, uh, leave them below. Like I said, I'm going to try to do a little bit of research and find out the difference between this pilot survival kit and the survival escape and evasion kit type 2. Um, and we'll be back with some other videos. We got uh, some foreign rations uh, planned, some vintage rations planned, and some gear videos as well. Um, so we appreciate the support, and everyone hope everyone has a good day.